Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome students to our fourth online assembly. We are changing the topic today as Ramadan is just round the corner. So the topic of our assembly today will be welcoming Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu. ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى has blessed his slaves with certain seasons of goodness. In these seasons, hasanat are multiplied, sayyat are forgiven, people's status is raised, and the hearts of the believers turn to their master and supreme lord. Those who purify themselves attain success, and those who corrupt themselves fail. Allah has created his slaves to worship him as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal-insa illa li'abudun And I, that is Allah, created not the jinns and humans except that they should worship me alone Surah Al-Dhariyat, verse 56 Allah further says in the Quran, Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyamu kama kutiba ala al-lazina min qablikum kama kutiba ala al-lazina min qablikum la'allakum tattakun O those who believe, observing a psalm that is fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, that you may become al muttaqun that is the pious. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 183. So, in order to take advantage of this great month that Allah has given us, keeping in mind that the purpose of our existence is nothing but the worship of Allah, and that Allah has given us this valuable month, to make the most of it. He has given us this month in which he multiplies the hasanat and he makes it easy for us to pray and to do acts of obedience to him by chaining the shayateen. So one, the major distraction Allah takes away and makes it so easy for us. In the normal days, we always have this excuse that we want to do something good but the shaitan keeps tricking us again and again. The shaitan keeps distracting us from our mission. So that is no longer the case in this month. So let's look at the best ways to welcome this month. And we need to start right now. Actually, we should have started long back. The Prophet Wasallam, the Sahaba, and even the pious people after them, or Salaf, they used to take great care to welcome Ramadan. They used to make preparations to welcome this great month, starting from the month of Rajab, some even earlier than that. So, just with just one week to go, let's see what we can do in order to welcome this month. So the first thing to take care, and this is something which is most often forgotten, and that is to seek sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Repentance for all the sins that we have committed throughout the year. Repentance for all the misdeeds that we have done to our close ones, that we have done to others. Repentance for everything wrong that we have been doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the Noble Quran, 
وتوبوا الى الله جميعا ايها المؤمنون لعلكم تفلحون and turn to Allah in repentance all of you O believers that you might succeed so seeking repentance is the path to success without seeking repentance for our sins the chances of success are almost nil so Allah says very clearly here that success lies in seeking repentance عن الأغر بن يسار المزني رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال يا أيها الناس توبوا إلى الله فإني أتوب في اليوم إليه مئة مرة رواه مسلم الأغر بن يسار المزني رضي الله عنه narrates that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said O people repent to Allah for I repent to him 100 times each day reported by muslim so on the one hand the command of allah to all believers to repent to him and to tell them that success lies in repentance then look at the practice of our beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he says that i repent to allah 100 times a day the noble soul the great prophet whose previous and later sins were forgiven the prophets are born immune from sins so the prophet who never committed a sin and if even if he did all his previous and later sins were forgiven in spite of that he says that he repents to Allah 100 times each day. So where do we stand then in comparison? We who commit more sins than acts of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We who find it difficult even to perform the five obligatory prayers. If there is someone amongst us who performs his daily obligatory prayers regularly, we say wow he is such a practicing muslim so this is our condition and i include everyone starting with myself because we need to keep reflecting upon ourselves the day we start thinking that we are great that's the day our downfall starts we need to start reflecting on ourselves following in the footsteps of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who in spite of being forgiven of everything repented to allah hundred times each day so can we emulate him can we also repent to allah hundred times each day we should try our best we should definitely try our best and if we really try we may end up repenting to allah maybe 10 times maybe 20 times as much as Allah makes it easy for us the point is that we should try as they say aim for the stars you will at least reach the moon so aim for 100 and you will definitely reach as per the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the first thing to take care of the first thing to be very particular about and let's start it from today right now let's start recollecting all the sins that we have committed in the past year and in the years before that and let's make sincere repentance to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's make a promise to allah and to ourselves that we are not going to repeat those sins ever let's also pray to allah that he forgives those sins of us of uh, of ours which we are not even conscious of maybe we committed sins we don't even remember so the first thing the most important thing and what will that do when we do sincere when we make sincere repentance to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah we will feel peace in our mind and we will start afresh and our mind and heart will be able to accept Allah's instructions 
the instructions of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it will become easy for us to perform acts of obedience. It will become easy for us, inshallah, to be regular in our prayers, to do as much sunan and nawafil as we can in this blessed month and thereafter, to do acts of charity, sadaqah, pay our zakat, do additional sadaqah in Ramadan. Because remember all this while, that everything that you do in Ramadan, the rewards for that get multiplied. Once we have repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the next thing that we should be particular about is to make dua. 